Hi guys, so I am back home. I am really tired. First of all, because I walked a lot. Second, um, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the sun. It's like it hits you and it makes you tired. Uh, in Spanish, or at least in Colombia, we have a saying like uh, el sol te aporrió, like, like the sun just hits you really hard. Uh, and that's why you feel like that. So I don't know if that's what's happening right now. So anyway, I took a shower, a really cold one, really quickly. I needed it because it was extremely hot out there. Let me tell you, it was over like 90 degrees, I will say, and uh, awful. <laughs> I don't like the heat. So the good thing about this place is the fact that uh, it's just hot. Like we don't really have the humidity, so that's good. Um, all right, so um, as you were able to see, I was on a walk with my dog. Uh, I got him a stroller because, I mean, I have mentioned this like many times before, but uh, after his leg amputation, it's really hard for him to walk. I mean, he can do it, but he walks like a bunny, like like jumping like that. Um, uh, he can walk here around the house and everything, but we cannot go like on walks or stuff like that. So uh, that's that. And wait, this keeps vibrating, sorry. Camera I have outside keeps telling me that there is motion. And I don't know if I told you this story. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. But um, not long ago, there was a dog in my backyard, like a random dog. Apparently, I don't know if it's a stray dog, like he doesn't have a home, uh, but I was just like sitting there eating uh, and I look at the window and I see a dog, like super small. I'm gonna put uh, the video that I took uh, somewhere in the screen. Uh, it made me so sad because I saw him with his hair falling off his skin and everything and I tried to get the dog to, to catch him and everything, but he just ran away. It made me really, really sad seeing a dog like that because it looked so neglected and everything. Uh, and I admit that I cried a little because I just, I mean, I have a dog, I love Haney. He's like my son. And I just imagine him being outside, maybe lost, maybe confused, not knowing how to get home, get back home. Uh, and I just like cried, like, I just, Imagine my dog being that dog that visited me. So anyway, he just came here to pee, to poop and everything uh, and he just left. So I put the camera out there in the backyard hoping that the dog will come back. And I also put some water, uh, some food as well and he hasn't come back. So let's hope that he comes back because I really, really want to give him a home. I really want to uh, make that puppy look better, feel better. Uh, so let's hope for the best. All right, so I quickly want to show you today's outfit. This is what I'm wearing, something really casual. I am staying at home all day, so that's why I wanted something really, really comfortable. So that's why I am wearing this beautiful linen blend dress from H&M. This is one of the dresses that I showed you in one of my hauls, spring hauls, and ever since I got it, I have been wearing it all of the time. It is really comfortable. It doesn't feel that itchy against the skin, uh, but sadly, it's not available at the moment. Um, I just recommend like checking the website constantly or just download the app. That's way easier um, because I have noticed that they keep bringing back this dress and many other items in a few sizes. So probably you can get lucky and get your hands on this beautiful dress. And while I'm looking at myself here in the mirror, I am noticing that I am matching this pillow or cushion cover that I have here, which is also from H&M. Uh, this one is sold out at the moment, sadly, and I understand why, it is beautiful. This is linen, and this one, again, is from H&M as well, linen. Um, and it actually matches this seat perfectly. This seat that I have here, which is part of my couch. Okay, guys, so in front of me, I have some cute workout sets, active wear, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I just uh, got these pieces because uh, the other day I was thinking, okay, what's going on with you, Mariana? Why aren't you being consistent with your workouts, even though you have been working out for years? And that's why you're not seeing the results you want uh, and I mean I think the reason was because I was not feeling and looking cute while working out like the workout sets that I had 
I mean, have had before this, um, were the ones that you see from the sports brands. I don't, don't want to mention like the most popular ones, but sometimes they don't fit right. Sometimes they don't have the cute designs, cute colors, and I just wanted to change that. So they are not the most flattering. So I ended up getting this cute uh, box full of workout sets from the brand Very. I think that's the brand. The the brand the way you pronounce it so if you're not familiar with this brand this is the brand from Valeria Lipovetsky she is a big content creator here on YouTube Instagram and everything so I have been following her for many years now and she has this brand she has jewelry she has clothing activewear a lot of stuff so I just wanted to give the brand a try and obviously support her so once you open the box, you get this. So it says you wanted you to have this, which is true. For the longest time, I was contemplating on uh, getting some of her workout sets. So inside you get a little card with her face and it says, Hello Beauty, thank you so much for taking time for you and making space for us. I created Very to celebrate women for all that we are and all we can be. And I hope we can make you feel as powerful as you truly are. I love that. So, uh, once you open the box, you get the workout sets. They come in this plastic bag, like really, I mean, nothing special. Nothing wrong with that. It's just that what matters is what's inside. So, that's something that I have to talk about. Like, I really, really like the quality of these workout sets. Um, so, I am showing you one that I haven't worn. I mean, I tried it on, but I haven't worn this one. So, this one is in the color light blue. These are the leggings, and they are just so beautiful. They are in this ribbed material i don't know if you can see yes i love that and why i got the reason why i got this brand was because of the minimal branding like one of the reasons uh, was the minimal branding i fell in love with it because as you can see it has the v from very but it's like it's like sawn in there sorry because of my stupid nail my nail polish just chipped I really like the fact that uh, the logo is super tiny, really small, and I like the fact that this is not going to peel off. So that's a plus there, I really like that. And the material, the quality feels really, really nice. Uh, they feel really stretchy and thick. And I think that if you um, want that, how can I call this? Like that vacuum sealed effect, like feel like that, um, just go with your regular size. And you're going to be fine uh, but if you want something a little bit more comfortable if you want to have a little bit more room just go a size up because these leggings i mean the whole line i will say of these workout sets run really really small so i ended up getting mine in the size small and now i regret not getting the size medium i mean they fit okay they're fine but um i will like to get like something a little bit bigger just because these are a little bit tight around my waist and something i have to mention about these leggings is the fact that this works for tall girls so if you're a tall girl and you're struggling with the length of the leggings these are for you i am only 5'4 that's around 164 165 uh, centimeters so um they fit fine on me not too long not too short just perfect and i will have to say that they're they're thick but they are not completely squat proof so i would recommend wearing like seamless underwear and everything and i think you will be fine with that so i want to continue with another item in the same light blue color light blue color what's wrong with me so i'm talking about this cute little bra this is the ray bra and i really like it again minimal branding this time the little v is in the back i really like that uh, really really simple really nice the only thing that i will have to talk to say about this bra is the fact that it's, it's just a fabric here it doesn't have any inserts any padding or anything like that you can just wear the top as it is and you're going to be fine because the fabric is really thick and on top of that it is like double so let me show you this is the front of the top and if i go on the side you can see this so this is where your armpit is and you have two pieces of fabric so i want to continue with 
another cute workout set in another color this is actually a color that i have been uh, loving so much lately i got um, the same ray bra in another color this beautiful light green color like not sage green no it's a really light like a pistachio color that's exactly what it is really like it and i ended up getting mine in the size medium as well again so the item that is new here is this beautiful crop top which is a long slip one i really like it and i ended up getting mine in the size medium i really like it because i have enough room for my arms so if i am working out my upper body i have enough room around my armpits that's why i decided to size up uh, the difference between this crop top and the ray bra is that with the ray bra you have the double uh, fabric like two layers of fabric but with this one you only have one and the other item that is new here is this one so i am talking about the shorts the same color uh, and i will have to say that they are the kind of the same concept as the leggings same thickness same fabric just less of it and i really like them because they have that biker short concept so if you're a person that is concerned about like super short shorts and showing too much like these shorts are for you i really like them and i have to say that for these shorts i sized up and the reason why i went a size up with these ones um, was because i was a little bit concerned about this area the bottom because i don't know if you have noticed with other brands in biker shorts that area right there is like so small so tiny and it makes your legs look like stuffed sausages i hate that look i don't like it so i wanted something that was going to be seamless like it was going to look all the same um i went for another workout set and this one you already saw it i wore it today i wore this uh workout set in my previous video the sarah hall was it sarah or was it h&m i can't remember but i show it to you and i really like it so again i have the ray bra i got it in the size medium really like it i really like the color because it's like a beige uh, like a taupe color it's just so so nice this, like this is my favorite color at the moment like a neutral color i ended up getting the same long sleeve top the crop top again the same description i ended up getting this one in the size medium as well where is the size yeah size medium as well really lovely and yeah so for the leggings again i got them in the size small i regret as i said not getting the size medium and i wanted to mention uh something so um right now they are having a final sale in all of these colors the three colors that i just showed you so that means no returns so i will recommend if you decide to buy something just size up because if, if this doesn't fit you cannot return it because it's final sale and i wanted to get like an affordable version of a color like i just wanted to try this workout set and see if i will like it or not this workout set that i got from amazon and this is it so i don't know if you are noticing that i love the long sleeve tops i ended up getting mine in the size medium uh, again the material it's really stretchy it feels really nice it's thin it doesn't have like a double uh, uh, piece of fabric so you will have to wear uh, a bra or something underneath of this but it feels really nice so for the bottom i ended up getting these beautiful leggings again the same concept a thick waist so i really like them they are really stretchy these are not as long as the ones that i was showing you from very but they're they, they also feel nice all right so here i am in the amazon workout set and i have to say that i really really like it because it feels really soft to the touch it is really stretchy and comfortable so please excuse the fact that i have a whole rock here it is the rock that, that belongs to the living room but i have it here because i want to wash it before putting it in the living room with the new couch so 
yeah i just have to do that so i am about to get a workout done in this room so as you can see i have some dumbbells i have this hip thrust machine i actually got this machine when the when everyone was in lockdown i don't want to say the c word because i don't want this video to be marked as um as a health video if you know what i mean So I am back after taking the second shower of the day with clean hair, fresh curls, and it feels so, so good. Uh, my curls are actually looking like way too curly right now. They're looking like quinceanera curls, which I don't like, uh, but hopefully they can drop a little bit more uh, and maybe they can look a little bit better tomorrow. I just curl them like this, like this much, just because I want the curls to last for, I don't know, many days, I will say. so. It's almost 10 p.m. and I have to start making dinner because I am starving and I am not exaggerating. I don't know what it is. Like once you start working out again, like you start getting so hungry. It's like your muscles are asking for fuel and yeah, I'm starving all of the time. So uh, I just want to make something super quick, something uh, really easy. I don't want to start like... I don't want to spend like a whole hour here in the kitchen. So that's why I'm making a steak with some mashed potatoes and uh, asparagus. I have them right here. So here I have them. After so long, I would say, not so long, but after some years that I have been here in the US, I haven't been able to get used to eating earlier like I see that people or at least my friends like family uh, or the people that I have around uh, eat dinner around 5 p.m. 5 6 and I can't I can't like I am used still I am still used to eating around uh, 8 9 well right now it's almost 10 it's super late but uh, around 5 p.m. is when you eat algo Algo in Colombia is a small snack or a small meal that you eat between lunch and dinner. Around 4 or 5 p.m. is when you eat this. And uh, around 8 or 9 is when you eat the bigger meal, like the, your dinner. But anyway, so that's something super random, but uh, I am still so attached to the way I used to do the things back then in Colombia. So why am I talking like this? I'm so out of breath. So anyway, I am going to cut the wing. So I'm going to watch this, cut everything, and hopefully I can see you later um, when I have dinner ready. Okay, so here we have dinner. We have asparagus with salt and pepper, mashed potatoes with the skin on them. That's the way we like to eat them the steak and we have red wine here we have dessert which is a chocolate mousse cake that i love so much so yes buen provecho. good morning everyone so it's a new day and i have to say that i feel great like i slept like a baby and i think the, what helped with that was the red wine that i had last night it was half a glass of red wine but it was more than enough to knock me out it was a little bit strong i will have to say uh but i feel great i am usually like a a white wine drinker not so much of the red wine but that one was really really good and i think it went really well with the steak which by the way wasn't like great it was decent it's not as good as the type of steak that you get uh non expensive or in a regular restaurant like a steakhouse or stuff like that but it was okay for me i would say like for my attempt of making a good steak at home so anyway i was just here um about to start opening these packages i feel a little embarrassed about showing this because well at least it's not so bad right now because this is only half of the amount of packages that i had here before 
there were more like this whole area this is my front door and i don't usually like use this door but all this was blocked full of packages so now that the area is a little bit more clear and everything i want to start opening these packages with you here i have some home decor i have fashion home decor treats for my dog my baby um something else from amazon and I don't know if you noticed that already, but I finally have curtains in this place and I couldn't be happier because this place doesn't feel like an empty house anymore. It feels like cozy, like a home and I don't know if it's just me or my opinion, but this living room right here feels like really, really inviting, like really cozy and I am not even done, like finished with the decor and everything so i still have to add more pieces and everything but just the curtains can change everything so i am really happy with them i ended up getting them from target and yeah they are just everything i wanted so let me just flip the camera because i have to talk about these beautiful curtains so for the longest time i was looking for the perfect panel white linen a light color uh but they were extremely expensive like up to 150 200 just one panel just one curtain just one side that's what i mean uh and that was like crazy crazy expensive so i ended up getting six of them from the ones from target they were only 50 bucks which is amazing the quality is good i love the linen they don't feel like rough they feel like really really nice i will say that i am really happy with my purchase and as i said i ended up getting six of them and what did I do for? I ended up getting six of them and now I need six more. Like this house is really big. Like it has a lot of windows and I want to use all linen. Maybe different colors, we will see, but um, I am working with linen. I want to show you that this is the curtain. This is what it looks like. This is the linen. Uh, to be honest, I thought that the linen was going to be a little bit thinner. It feels a little bit thick. Uh, here you can kind of see what it looks like, uh, but I am not mad about it. Um, I have to mention that everything is going to be in the description box of this video. If you're interested, uh, give them a try. They look beautiful. Each panel is 50 bucks. And uh, I was reading the reviews, don't get scared, because people mentioned that uh, some panels are shorter or longer than the other ones. So that they the length is pretty inconsistent but i got six of them and they were all the same length and i want to quickly talk about the curtain rods because for the longest time i was looking for the perfect ones so i ended up getting these black ones from the brand umbra i think that's the name of them let me give you a close-up so i initially went to bed bath and beyond and they were sold out so I went directly to the website Umbra and I got them from there, really, really nice. I had no issues with them and they were also really affordable as well. And the good thing is that the curtain rods match everything that I have going on here, like the TV stand, the fireplace. So for this whole living room, I am working with the colors white, black, beige, I am, I am planning on adding a little bit of color, maybe green, because I am going to have the olive tree here. So maybe some beige, white, and green pillows. For example, this one that I have here will be perfect. Or a whole solid color in this beautiful green will be perfect. This color combination is my thing. And for... I mean, that's for the summer, spring and summer, and maybe during the fall and winter, I will play with burgundy colors, browns, orange, and stuff like that. I think I am going to regret wearing all white for opening and touching these boxes. They are pretty dusty. It is really dusty and dirty here in the desert. Um, so we will see.
is what the living room is looking like and I have to say that I am really really happy with the result and I am not even done yet like I still have to get pillows the core there I have to get a big rug and I have to uh, take care of the coffee table situation because it's driving me nuts so um, help me out here so I have two ideas two options uh, I am making my husband um, create or make me a coffee table like from scratch with wood uh, so I have two options a solid square piece wood uh, I have to I still have to decide on the finish the color and everything but the idea is just a solid piece of wood here uh, which is going to uh, work as a base and then I can put all of the decor on top of it books candles a big base and stuff like that uh, and that's the first option and the second one is a piece of wood here it's going to be it's going to go down on the sides as well um, but I am gravitating more towards the first option because I think that it looks a little bit more classic simple and a little bit more clean I will say so just give me your opinion and help me out here so I want to start talking about this beautiful corner this has to be my favorite corner in the house at the moment so uh, let's first uh, talk about the basket so I got this beautiful basket at Target I love the color and I initially got this basket thinking that it was going to go on that other corner to work as a um, throw blanket holder if that makes sense so I was going to put all of the I don't know maybe two or three blankets that we use here when we're watching TV really really cozy uh, but I didn't have a pot for the olive tree so I had to work with this so I am really really happy with the result because I really like the color combination so we will see what I can do there uh, because the first option or what I had planned before was to get a black pot or maybe a light color one like maybe beige or white for this corner but I think like it will be too much white so this one is just perfect so now let's talk about the olive tree I think the olive tree is just perfect it brings the perfect amount of color uh, in I don't know life to this living room because everything is black white beige the same colors and I just wanted a pop of color a pop of green here so I got this olive tree from Amazon and I am really happy with the result I wanted to open this so bad with you guys so I was waiting uh, for the right moment to make this video so as you can see you have a close-up the leaves don't look like so artificial I mean they're obviously fake but they don't look too bad I will say and if you take a close look at it you can see that this part doesn't look too fake and it actually looks like real I will say pretty real but it's plex it's plastic this is painted but I really really like it so um, I am really happy with this olive tree I keep talking about the olive tree but uh, if you look online all of the options that they had um, were super super expensive crazy expensive I am talking about $400 I saw $700 on Wayfair and that's just crazy for something fake but as much as I love this olive tree I would rather have a real plant a real one but I just don't know if it will survive like I am not that good with plants but I am planning on changing that because I just need real stuff here for example I love flowers I love having natural flowers okay so moving on I have this little thing this little frame this little picture that I got oops sorry about that and I got it from World Market it was only $16 I have to remove the stickers but I really really like it I really like the gold against the dark wood here so my plan is to put a lot of light color decor I will say and gold I really like playing with those two colors because this is really dark too dark for me so I love the contrast and speaking of contrast I got the beautiful candle holders that I got from CB2 these candle holders were so expected they were in back order for a while and I am really glad that they are here that they are home with me and I just love them because they are really different like I haven't seen anything like this 
anywhere else because the ones that you see everywhere is just like the base just like a simple stick I will say and then the top for the candle so really simple so I really like the details these details here so this one is the small size this one is medium and they also have a larger size but as you can see these candle holders are really really tall so I just wanted something big something small uh, but medium small is just perfect if that, if that makes sense and the candles are just like simple candles they were like one dollar two dollars again from CB2 and I just love the look of it and yeah I'm really happy with the results all right so this is the next package and maybe the last one in this vlog because I think uh, this vlog is getting way too long and it's already getting dark like it's been hours since I talked to you guys uh, I have been doing some stuff in the computer answering emails and editing part of this video as well so I want to open this last package with you if I can open all of them I will do it in the next vlog because I still have some things to show you so I have to say that I have been really responsible with my skincare lately and I have been worrying more about the way I sleep and everything like I have been thinking about wrinkle prevention if that makes sense so uh, the way I see things is like I am not against it but I am not planning on getting injections or stuff done on my face at all <laughs> not now uh, so I think I mean they advertise like Botox and stuff for you like to prevent stuff but I think that if you take care of many many things in your lifestyle or, or the way you do things uh, for example sleeping you can naturally prevent those things like naturally so um, I love sleeping on my sides I am a side sleeper it is so comfortable it is the only way I can fall asleep like immediately uh, but uh, when I was waking up I, I was noticing like some wrinkles around here uh, some around my eyes and then on my chest as well like a big one here like a big crack which will eventually like disappear uh, but I was really really worried and I was like no 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 because I'm putting all of my weight on one side uh, and that's not happening like I want to prevent those things if you know what I mean so let's open this so I wanted to get a special pillow that would allow me to um, to sleep not so much in a comfortable position but will help me to prevent that I move from one side to the other during the night time let me fix this I don't want to be showing anything so um, what I was doing is like I was sleeping on the regular pillow and I was like so conscious about trying to keep myself like sleeping like a mummy Penny, why are you crying? It's okay. I'll give you your treats in a second. Hold on. So, uh, what was I saying? So, I was trying to sleep like a mommy. Like, I wouldn't sleep during the whole night. But it would be really difficult. And it would be really difficult for me to uh, stay in the same place or just fall asleep. So, I just wanted something that would be a little bit easier. And that would give me, like, some support on my head. So that's why I got this. This is not a sponsored. I got this on Amazon. It is your face pillow. Uh, it says that it prevents wrinkles, it stops acne. That's something else because I have never suffered from acne. Like I am getting some acne spots, like, I don't know, maybe some hormonal imbalance or, or stuff like that. But uh, when I was a teenager, I didn't get acne in I consider myself like really really lucky but now that I'm getting older I am getting the acne that I probably didn't get when I was younger uh, it's not too bad but just like some spots here and there and I'm not happy so I noticed that when I was getting acne I was getting it around here and I was like doing some stuff and trying to figure out where the acne uh, was coming from and I noticed that it was from sleeping on my sides you know you sweat at night you have your skincare and then your pores get clogged and everything and things happen 
so um yeah that's true that it stops acne um and it is anti-aging as well so let's give it a try let's open this and this is supposed to offer support on your head so you sleep like a mummy and you don't move your head around because that was one of the things that i was experiencing i was trying to keep myself in the same position and then i would do this like basically like sleeping on a plane where you're in a straight position then you do this and then i was waking up with a horrible pain on my neck on the sides of my neck as well so i'm trying to figure out how to open this give me a second okay Ooh, this is nice. This is interesting. I have some information going on here. A gift. We will open that later. Instructions. They give you different positions. How you can sleep. Remember that this is not a sponsor. I bought all of this with my own money. And this was a little bit high on price. This, I think in total was like 70 or $80, something like that. So hopefully this is worth it because I already passed the return period. All right. First impression, I have to say that it feels really soft, really squishy. It feels like... Like when you squish cotton candy, like that. This is this has this has to be memory foam. I think it is memory foam. So I want to show you. So this is the sides. I mean, first of all, this is what the pillow looks like. But you have to buy a pillowcase or something to cover it up because you will stain it with stuff. So this is where you rest your face, your head goes in here, your neck here, this is a little bit more bulky, um, I assume to give support to your neck and let's, let's give it a try. That's gonna be weird. Hmm. I'm not so sure about the neck thing. I'll give it a try tonight and I'll update you on the next vlog. But yeah, really nice. I mean, I thought it was going to be a little bit more firm. I was expecting a little bit more firm. And it's and it sucks that they don't give you like a pillowcase because this is pretty expensive and it's memory foam. It's not like a super expensive material, I would say. And something else. Uh, I was reading the reviews and people were throwing this in the washing machine. Don't do that. You can't wash memory foam. So be careful with that because then you will just lose your money. You will ruin the pillow. This pillow is supposed to help with all of that. And I actually got it for my skincare. To keep all of my skincare on my face while I'm sleeping. Uh, because it sucks when you apply like expensive stuff, nice things. And then you go and wipe it off on your pillowcase like that sucks so yeah this is it all right guys so i think i am going to wrap up this vlog here i am afraid that it's getting too long and i don't want you to get bored so i am really excited about uh giving a try to this pillow tonight different pillow weird shape uh but it's really really interesting um i forgot to mention this is cotton like the thing that it has it's in a cotton material i think it feels really soft though uh, but I think I can use my regular pillowcase, my silk pillowcase, in the standard size because this is not too big, not too wide, I will say. Yeah, I think it will work. So anyway, as I said, I, I am going to wrap up this vlog here and start feeding this baby, baby Haney, because he's just crying here on the floor. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.